no one's listening to your music and you can't grow because you don't understand how to grow a following. That's why I developed the value follow formula, which I'm gonna break down in this video. If you have followers now that just aren't engaging, they're not liking or any of that when it comes to the posts you have now, imagine trying to grow that, it's almost impossible. But I'm gonna break this down in this video so you need to watch. Now in the first video, I broke down why music marketing just isn't the same way as it used to be and how magnetic music marketing is changing the game one creator at a time. I'm Adam Ivey, I'm a marketing specialist that niches in music with over 15 years of music production experience, helping you grow faster, build an adoring fan base, and get paid with the music that you're making. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is actually video number two of a free six-part series where I break down my magnetic music marketing blueprint to help you rapidly grow and build your music-based brand and business. And I thought, what better way to lead into this than to share the VFF with you guys, the value follow formula. As they say, not all followers are created equal, and I'd rather have 300 highly engaged followers followers than 3,000 bot accounts that don't care about my content. Well, why can't we have 3,000 highly engaged accounts and not have to worry about bots? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that, so grab a pen and paper. We're about to jump into it. Now, while you get your pen and paper or your notes app open on your phone, I want you to keep something in the back of your mind this entire video. The quality of your following really matters. The quantity of your following can be converted into a quality following, but the other way around just doesn't work. We can't take a quality following and grow that out of nowhere. We need the people, we need the attention. And this is where the VFF really comes into place. We're not gonna worry our time on people that are just here today, gone tomorrow. The ones that follow us today, send us a DM 15 minutes later asking why we didn't follow back yet. The quality is what we're building with this and that's why it's the value follow formula. So the first thing that we really have to have in place is gateway content. Think about the dopamine spikes or the serotonin released by our pleasure receptors into our own blood. It's literally a drug and we experience this from social interactions, right? Uh, content that makes us laugh, content that makes us really angry. Somebody might be talking about religion or politics and it gets us heated, but on the other side, we watch a trick shot video or cats doing funny stuff or a dog seeing his owner for the first time in a year. It gets those emotional triggers hitting on all cylinders. So when your content is going out, we have to be able to get a, a gateway into the rest of your content ecosystem. So that gateway content is super important when we go out there. Think about Starbucks, for example right? Starbucks built a multi-billion dollar company from gateway content, from one cup of coffee tasting really, really good. Somebody saying, hey, you have to try that tea that they're now offering. And then all of a sudden it becomes habitual. It becomes something that we're led in to see what other offerings Starbucks might be having. So gateway content is the first pillar, the first main staple to building that value follower. Now, speaking of gateway content for a second, I wanna remove ourselves from building an audience and put ourselves in a position of being in the audience. Let's say that we see something beautiful, we see something hilarious that we wanna share with all of our friends or maybe our friends shared with us. And we don't know who made it, so we click on their profile, we're eager to see what else they have and they don't. They have three posts, none of which are really engaging aside from the one that you really liked. Are they gonna earn your following? Are they gonna earn your trust? Are you gonna be part of their movement? Well. You can't steer a car that's not moving, so the answer is no. What we need to do is we need to take that gateway content and move them into a retention. We need to be able to get them into the retention path in which we know that they're going to build that loyalty trust, they're gonna like what we're doing, we're gonna be bringing value, value following, to their lives. So how do we do that? We do that with consistency, engagement, and rhythm. Our brand narrative, our brand aesthetic, the content, the context, all wraps into that retention path. So just like Starbucks having more than one menu item, we can give them variety and they know the same quality that they're, you know, they're expecting when they come to Starbucks, no different than they know the quality that they're expecting when they come to our account. All of this leads to dependency. Starbucks is a perfect example of this. And I know that there's a negative connotation of dependency, but put yourself into my shoes for a second. If I'm tired, if I want something to wake me up, I'm gonna leave earlier for work to stop at Starbucks. I know what it does to me, I know the quality is there, I know what to expect, and I know that there's a whole lot of people that get super angry in line in the mornings because it takes them 30 minutes to get their coffee, but they'd rather be late to work than to be at work without that coffee. Now, take the brand out of it. Coffee, tea, whatever people are dependent on is something that we wanna be able to provide. Now, I know that there's a negative connotation with the word dependency, and, and, and I understand it, but think about it this way. If you have a loving parent, if you have a loving spouse, if you have a loving child, somebody in your life, a coach, and you can go to them when you have a problem, 
You can lean on them when you might need to get a ride somewhere. Maybe you need to borrow some money. Maybe you just need some advice. You're depending on their help. You're depending on them in such a pure, good way that we wanna be able to provide that same experience to our users, to our following, and be able to provide them with value. Now, I know you guys might be thinking that value is a how-to video or some inspirational quote. No, it's not. It's any value that you're bringing into their life, a smile, something to think about. Your music might bring you know, a lot of joy into their life, kind of remove them from some of their stresses. So that's the value that you want. The dependency on your uh, content is something that they, you want that built into their habits, right? You want them to be able to open up their phone and whether it's every day, every other day, you're a little piece of their day. They're following your journey. It's not the type of thing where it's this uh, push-pull, you have to follow them, they have to follow you. No, we're leading with value and that's why the value follow formula works. They're not expecting anything back because they're so happy on some level that you're in their life now and they're super happy that they discovered you. And that's how we build that dependency. The value follow is all about building a following that actually cares, is willing to go above and beyond because you're willing to go above and beyond for them. So what do we have? We have gateway content that leads to a retention path, that leads to dependency, which equates to a value follow. Not just from them, but from you. You're following them as much as they're following you. You're following them around, giving them value at every twist and turn of your journey, and they're following the value that you're providing. This is going to grow your audience. This is going to keep them highly engaged. This is gonna get them excited, and they can work for you as a free PR machine when you have big announcements because they're stoked to be part of your movement. This is how I built my audience. This is how you can build your audience. This is how my students build their audience. And I'm gonna teach all of this and how to grow and how to do all of that in upcoming videos. If you wanna be part of this video series, if you wanna be uh, able to have first access when I open the doors to my Cell Music Masterclass 2.0 in the days to come, make sure that you click the link below this video or somewhere on the screen to get on that early bird waiting list. I'm not gonna spam you because I'm trying to lead with value, but I'd really like for you to be part of my movement so I can help you in any way I can. So look at that link. It's first come, first serve. Uh, by being on the early bird waiting list, you're gonna have access to enrolling before the public does, uh, which actually comes in handy considering last time I opened the Cell Music Masterclass, over half of the seats were taken before I ever opened up to the public. And this time I'm expecting even more. So make sure you click that. Look guys, the value follow formula, it works. I use it, you should be using it too. But if any of the three elements are missing, you're going to fall flat. So stay very cognizant of how you're going into this. In the next video, I'm gonna teach you how to build all of the systems and all of the different pipelines to get more followers in. So I'm super excited to share that method with you as well. Let me know in the comments below if you've been leading with this method and how it's been working out for you. I'll see you in the next video.